before the video starts, I just want to elaborate a bit more on what this video actually is. Uh, when we got back, to, when we got to the track, we went straight from school to the track, so a lot of these clips were a little bit rushed. Uh, it's just kind of what we got, and we thought we might be able to pump a video out of it. Well, we're out at Strathmore, and it's a little bit rainy. It looks like the track's still quite wet. There might be a dry line forming, though. Um, gotta be careful with some of the standing water. Rupert's fitted a new quick shifter to the 250. I'm excited to check it out. Looks like I just went down. Um, unfortunately, I just misjudged the conditions. Going to turn one, a little bit too much speed, and then got on the brakes a um, little bit too late, and then got into a puddle and washed out the front. But you know, there's always next track session. <laughs> That session was just kind of getting back into it. I was very cautious at first, a little bit too cautious of the water, but eventually I got the handle of the grip. Um, through the first two turns, loving the transition. Since last uh, time at Stratotech, I've really learned to respect the bike and understand where its limits are. But you still can transition on it quite fast as long as you're pulling. And um, I really enjoyed the power. At first, I was only using around up to 10,000 RPM, but near the end of the session, I got more power out of it. So I was, I think it was a bit, just I'm generally afraid, I don't want to crash again, so yeah. Session number three was a big improvement over session number two. I got back my kind of flowy style. Uh, it's still a bit difficult to overtake. A bit annoying at times because my bike's a bit wider. I'm not quite used to it, but um, yeah, I was getting on the gas a lot earlier in a lot of places, so I gained a lot of time there. My braking was quite a bit better. There's still a few places I want to brake later, though. Most of the water is dissipated as well, so. <laughs> wondering what exactly happened in that crash and it probably was a little bit difficult to understand because it happened so fast but I'll walk you through it also we didn't really do a, a clip reviewing what happened after this because I was too livid with myself as you can see the bike shakes a little bit for the next gear shift I was eager to brake a little bit later but I just grabbed it too fast too hard and yeah the front just gave out on me That's a great question. I'm going to try and work on corner one corner number three. Going a bit more. It's drying up as well now, so it should be pretty good. I'm going to break it at one. Uh, carrying, I think there will be. I'm trying to sort out. 
this next session was once again just me finding my confidence again and uh, getting ready to lean the bike again. chasing another rider it's really good to have that when you uh, first get back on the bike after a big crash because um, it always gives you a rabbit to chase and something to aim for A bit of a roller coaster of a track night because um, we had a few crashes, but definitely getting to recover from those and just being able to get back on and get ready to do it all again. Um, building up my confidence, it was really important to have someone in front of me that I could chase, uh, which I got in this last session. I just kind of got used to him, still a little bit uh, hairy or wary of turn one. So, yeah. <laughs> 